Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and today we're going to talk about Dollar Tree. Okay, so y'all know that it's like, you gotta be like my, well, because Goodwill is not really a store, but it is, but it isn't. But that's like my favorite place to go to in the entire world. Then Dollar Tree will probably be a really close second because you know, even though Dollar Tree is inexpensive by far, Walmart more than likely guarantees is gonna have what you need, like no matter what it is. So, and then quality, right? Like long lasting. But anyway, we're not here for that. Focus. All right, so I went to Dollar Tree today as usual, and I've been checking them out as I go, like other locations, cities, towns, whatever. And you know, the, the promise was, we're going to charge you a little bit more, but we're going to provide so much more. And to be honest with you, when it comes to areas where I'm located, that's going to be a really slow process, and it is. However, I'm pretty sure, you know, in larger cities, it probably is already proven to be promising. Especially from the videos that I watch here on YouTube, like people, they got pillows and stuff. Like, that hasn't made it here yet. However... I would say as far as more of a variety and consistency, I definitely see a change. And I, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But anyway, let me show you what I got. First of all, if you are mommy on a budget, you are a DIY person, like I paint my own nails. This is gel paint. This is day three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And normally, and check out the color. Like you always got to you know, check the color out to the skin tone. Love it. Love it. But anyway, I wash dishes sometimes three, four times a day. So my hand is constantly in water. The standard nail polish does nothing. And even I'll be honest with you, like the average time that gel paint may last on you will still not match what it lasts on me because my hand is constantly in the water. I wash a lot of dishes. It's a lot of people here. I'm a stay at home mom. So, yeah. And that's with me even splitting because on weekends, I split that responsibility with the children. But anyway, so I went and got some more, of course. And I'm going to show you what I, well, let me tell you in the order that I bought them because you know y'all are going to be safe, right? So, first go round, I simply just got this one. This is the color that's on my nails, right? And I'm like, okay, we're going to see how I do. We're going to see what it do. And then we're going to go back. So, second trip, I was able to find these colors. This rich burgundy. Going to love that. This lavender. Definitely going to love that. This green, I was like, mm, hopefully I can pull it off. Then... The trip before, you know what? No, I did it wrong. Yeah, I did it wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. So, my first trip was actually these two colors. And yes, they are different. Let me turn it to the side. And they're Kiss. The brand is Kiss. And it's gel. So, they're similar, but they're definitely different. You got more of a nude and you got more of a rich plum lavender mixture here love them both i feel like they suit me very well that's the first trip second trip i was able to find let me get right these three this color this is a rich burgundy this green that i'm iffy about but hopefully it looks okay and then my favorite probably be this color here this is lavender then this last trip i found this color which is like gray. And this color, which is very similar to that one, but you turn it to the side and you can see that they are definitely different. Slightly, but they are to the point that it matters. And then lastly, this is a different bottle, which I don't care about the shape or anything. This is from a different brand too, iGlow. So hopefully this one works as good as the other ones, but all I know is this was the only one left in the store. And the Kiss brand is like, as you can see, I had to go to different Dollar Trees to get different colors. But anyway, I'm so happy I got them because 
My other ones were being used up, my regular nail polish, and they literally only last me like two days. I need, this is day three. And I know it's gonna go for another day. And I need that, okay? But anyway, I also got this really, really cute strawberry pen. It comes with a body of this color pink and then um, turquoise maybe, Robin's egg blue. Ah, uh, can't wait to write with this, so cute. And these, I already did a review with these, um, I believe, by themselves in a Dollar Tree haul. If you don't know, these, as you can see, they are dual tipped highlighters. And yes, obviously they are meant to mimic and be the very inexpensive version of my eyeliners. I'm gonna talk about that in another video. But anyway, I already got some, I've got some more. Cause I'm gonna tell you why in another video. But anyway, and I got this pouch because I did a video where um, I have this thing that I'm gonna do where I just use only Dollar Tree items to journal in my Bible to encourage those who may not have the money or want to be on a budget. And just to kind of reinnovate the idea that you don't have to buy the most expensive thing to be successful in journaling. You can go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is growing very fast and very progressively as far as what's related to journaling and writing and doing things in your Bible. So start there and see. And I know from off gate, there are a lot of things in there that are underrated, that people are unaware of. And I can assure you that people are missing out. Like don't just go and spend $20 because YouTube is saying spend $20. Do your research. And figure it out for yourself because it's better to start cheap and realize it's not worth it versus then going expensive and realize you could have got it cheaper and been equally happy or even more happy with the results but anyway so got this little pouch um it says my happy face and these are considered cosmetics bags but i'm going to use them for my journal supplies because again i'm doing um, Bible study videos thing around Dollar Tree products to kind of, you know, shed light on that. But anyway, so I'm going to put all my little pencil stuff in here. But that's what I got. And I want to share it with you guys. And last but not least, I did found some baby headbands for Bella. These are so cute and simple. White goes with almost everything. Hence, she needed one today with her outfit, but I didn't have any. And of course, pink goes with everything. And they are the perfect size to go around her head. And they are scratchy, so they're going to grow with her. And yeah, so there you have it. That's my little haul. But that's all I have to say. Um, appreciate your Dollar Tree, you guys. Always take time to go in there. Don't overdo it. You don't have to go in there every week or every two days. But I appreciate Dollar Tree. I will forever go check in there and I'm coming out with some really good results. Like y'all, I was really in my feelings about my nails and I'm like, I don't want to go spend money getting them done. Cause this is what I do. I get them done like once every six months. And I feel like that is a waste because there's maintenance in between getting your nails done. And I feel like I always ruin my nails for just two weeks of having my nails done. But my nails grow pretty long. I keep them cut now because of Bella and this is where I'm at. So, but I still want paint on. Like, I want to look like a woman. Like, I want to look like I care about myself. Like, even my hair. I've been wearing plaits for two weeks straight. And I finally took my hair down and said, no wig, no wig. And I wore my hair. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> but enough about that. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.